Now get those taste buds ready because these pizza waffles literally take a few minutes to prepare and cook and they taste simply delish. G'day, welcome to Todd's Kitchen. Who said a waffle maker is just for yummy desserts? Yummy waffles, they're delish. But I'm going to show you how to make a dinner or a savory dish at the same time. So join me today as I make my version of pizza waffles. Now we're going to start this off with a sheet of puff pastry. Now you can use puff pastry if you sell it in your country. But for say America, I know you can get puff pastry there, but you can also use that crescent roll stuff. It works pretty much the same way. And we want to cut up our puff pastry to the size of our waffle iron or waffle maker. It's about the right size, so I'm just going to cut it into four equal squares, which will make two waffles. And we want to put our toppings on just one side because obviously the other side is going to be the top. Now you can use whatever ingredients you like, but I'm not going to put the sauce on. So first of all, I'm just going to put on some mozzarella cheese. Just spread it out a little bit. And on top of that, just some salami. And again, use any topping that you like. So just simply place our second piece just on top and just going to push down just on the outer edges a little bit just to help keep all those ingredients inside. And we're going to do the same for the other one as well. Now the main reason I'm putting the sauce on first is because when you put on the waffle iron, it's going to compress down a bit. And honestly, it's just going to squeeze out all the pizza sauce. So it's going to be a lot drier. So I'm going to show you a little trick so we still, that we still get the same lovely pizza taste, but with the sauce instead of without. Okay, so with our waffle iron, make sure it's completely warmed up. So just give it a quick grease. Just got some cooking spray oil just to prevent any sticking. And I'm just going to place our pizza waffles onto our iron. Doesn't matter if they hang over a little bit. Now with our waffle iron closed, we're going to cook this for about five minutes. Basically when it's nice and brown on the outside and the cheese is completely melted. Okay, so it's been five minutes. And look at those pizza waffles. And there we have our delicious and crunchy pizza waffles. Now I'm choosing to use a pizza sauce on the side. Now you can make one yourself or you can buy the sauce from the shops pre-made. But if you want to make your own pizza sauce as well, I'll leave a link in the description below to my pizza playlist where you'll find my recipe for pizza sauce and many other delicious pizza recipes. So the best part is, this is a fantastic treat to make now and then. And by using the puff pastry, it's nice and crispy. So it gives it that light texture. But when you add your own ingredients and that pizza sauce, mm -mm, this tastes simply delish. So for a quick snack, or even a quick dinner, whip these up because I guarantee you will absolutely love them. So thank you for watching this episode of Todd's Kitchen. As always, I'll leave a list of ingredients down below in the description as well as links to my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Home Handy Hints channel. And please do me a massive favour by giving this video a thumbs up, leave a comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time for another mm -mm, delicious recipe.